if you using a donut on yourself, sir, that is a red flag. I don't care what you say. <laughs> wait. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Where am I red flag? He told you that he was going to prison and you still stayed? Girl, what they do that <laughs> way? Okay. Okay, girl. So this is from Channel Infinity or Chanel Infinity. I'm not sure, but this person is very, very pretty, by the way. Okay, and she says this happened about three years ago. I met a guy on a dating lap on a dating app on a Wednesday. We were supposed to go on our first date on Friday. Thursday, he let me know that he didn't have transportation. Put your red flags up, y'all. Red flag. Red flag. <laughs> okay, so we were supposed to go on our first date on Friday. Thursday, he let me know that. He did not have transportation. And I really wasn't thinking anything of it. I was like, okay, I just go on a date with him and just take him back home and let it be that. Since we are, right, red flag. Since we already made plans. Tell me why this dude brought all of his belongings on our first date, girl, no. And didn't have any money to take me out he begged me to stay with me because he didn't have anywhere to live at the moment. Okay, y'all, let me go back. I met this guy online. We talked for about six weeks. He decided to meet up at a restaurant. He allowed me to pick the restaurant. He got there. He only ordered water. We talked for a while. When the bill came, the waitress put the check in front of him. When she walked off, okay, the waitress walked away. He picked it up and put it in front of me. He said, it's strange how she would give me this bill and I didn't even eat nothing. <laughs> I looked at him and started laughing. I paid the bill got up and I left. I couldn't even tell him goodbye. An hour later, he texts me. Y'all, wait a minute. Get this. Get this. An hour later, he texts me and he said he wanted me to choose the restaurant to see my character. And because of the place I chose, he didn't feel like we would be a good fit or that we would fit each other's lifestyle because he doesn't believe in wasting money at restaurants such as the one that we went to. We went to Copeland's of New Orleans. He got no response and was quickly added to my block list. Red flag, red. Look, Michelle said, I told you. <laughs> I told you. Verdessus, I would have left. Red flag, red flag. This one is from Aaron. Hey, Aaron, y'all get your red flags ready. Get your red flag. <laughs> get your red flag button ready. I went on a date with a 6'4 man, over 200 pounds, big strapping muscles. I am 5'3 and teeny tiny, but this man smoked a little too much before I picked him up for our date. Okay, he spent our walk in the park paranoid that I was going to attack him. He wouldn't let me walk behind him. <laughs> I can't deal with y'all. He wouldn't let me walk behind him because he said I'd get away with it. So he had to be extra careful. I felt so uncomfortable when I realized he wasn't joking. I wouldn't hurt a fly. Months later, he found me again on Tinder and super liked me. I guess he's not afraid anymore. 
I'm done. Okay, y'all, I love you. I gotta go. <laughs> Jossie, is it Jossie? It's J O S I. I used to ride the city bus to one of my first jobs as the parking was scarce and very, you know, expensive downtown. That seems reasonable. I lived at the end of that route. So the driver and I would talk as I usually was the only one. On the bus for a while. After a couple of weeks of this, he said his route was going to be changed. And we wouldn't see each other on the bus. So he asked me out. I met him at a restaurant. At one point, he reached for my hand across the table. Hey, cousin. Hey, Nigel. Happy birthday, Nigel. I love you. How you doing, cousin? At one point, he reached for my hand across the table to kiss it, and I noticed a wedding band. So I screamed, you're married? What is the matter with you? Girl, tell me. <laughs> Somebody's the red flag. Oh, my God. Y'all made my day. It's the fact that she put it in quotations so that I can read it in their voice. That is hilarious. Okay, let me start over. Okay, so at one point, he reached for my hand across the table to kiss it. And I noticed a wedding band. So I screamed, you're married? And what's the matter with you? His response was that he assumed I knew. Well, I didn't. I never saw his left hand as I only saw the right one when he was driving the bus. And I screamed at him some more. Why would I agree to go out on a date with a married man? Nothing in any of our conversations would have me had thinking, wait, would have had me thinking he was married. I got up and I left. It's a good thing his route was changed anyway, or I would have taken an earlier bus. Girl. Wait, where am I? Let me get my flag, girl. Where your red flag at? Red flag, sus. <laughs>